I'm sure you've seen the classic, often cheesy magician with a couple of big silver rings clanging them together, clangy clang and linking and unlinking them and all that kind of thing. Well, I'm gonna do that right in front of you with two rubber bands. Now, I'm gonna warn you, I'm cheating a little bit because what I did with each of the bands, look, is I cut each of the bands, each of these two bands, I cut them and tied a knot. Because I figured, look, linking the bands, I got to give myself some opportunity. So now I have kind of cut them so there's maybe some way I can sneak them despite the knots. That's what I'm going to try to do. So watch here. I'm going to take one in one hand, one in the other, and stretch them both out like this. Okay, now watch. Put one right down through the other. Okay, right down through like this. Here we go. You can see it. Like this, okay? Can't go through here, can't go through here, can't even melt. But if I give a rub, watch it'll melt right through. Now it's one thing to do it once, watch, I'll do it again. I'm gonna take this, slip it down through. You can see it's not an illusion. It's actually connected, they're linked together, okay? Can't go up, can't go down, can't go through, but just a rub, it'll melt. Now that's twice. What's really cool is if I take both of them, okay? And I just use a little bit of heat, okay? If I hold on to them and get a rubber down here, I've got like a little lighter. And if I should be able to, I'm hoping, just warm them up like this. Just enough that the two are not just temporarily linked, but you can see they're actually and permanently linked together. And of course, when I hand this out, it becomes a precious souvenir of the magic experience. This will take some practice, okay, but it's a beautiful illusion. You lower, you, so this, uh, I, rather than describing it all, I mean, I'll do my best to describe it as we go through here, but one is dangling down off my finger, obviously, the other is between first finger and thumb. I go down through and make sure, and then I re-pick it, I pick it back up. So I'm in the same position I was, but now they're linked, okay? Now, the technique is so pretty, though. I mean, this notion of can't go up, can't go down, can't go through, but if I rub it, melts. So pretty. And it's about the timing, holding that beat after. So I'm gonna show you how it's done. So you're gonna do this larger action to cover the small sneaky action. And this will take practice. The small sneaky action is this. As I pull, I'm not gonna pull them so much by turning my, my hand palm up. It's more pulling this way. Now, if you pulled far enough with your right hand away, you'd pull the rubber band right off. But the tip of my right middle finger, <laughs> yes folks, that one, the rude one, is gonna, for a second, hold on to the band. Here's the exposed view, this is what's happening. So that the first finger can actually slip into the other loop. As you come down, the middle finger is gonna release its grip on the end of that rubber band. And then you're coming away. Now that may seem, it will take some practice, it's about hitting that beat. This is a little bit of ballet with your fingers, okay? Going up, down, through, doing the secret move, and then coming away and opening. Performance speed, I'm here. I say, look, they're linked, you can see that very fairly. Can't go up, can't go through, can't do this, but if I rub, and this circular rubbing action covers, they don't know when the moment happened, but then it melts. Now notice I can do it facing you, okay? Boom, boom, like that, it looks good. But if you turn to one side, maybe not for both uh, penetrations, but if the first one's this way, the second one, when you turn and you're facing that way, it's even harder to discern when they're separate, okay? So this is the classic handling, and I love this, I've done this for years, but it needs an ending. This trick, like all good tricks, needs an ending. And then I was playing with it one time and I realized, wouldn't it be great if at the end I could actually link these two and hand them out? Wouldn't that be incredible? And I realized, wait a second, I'm really only using my fingers and thumb, which frees up these other fingers, which means that I could do this whole trick with a second pair of rubber bands that I've actually fed one through the other legitimately, cut them and knotted them so they're all examinable. I can bundle up these suckers and I can even do this one-handed in my pocket if I want. Bundle, bundle, bundle and kind of screw them all up in a tiny little ball. And as long as I get them down between these uh, two or three fingers, now, I can do the whole trick, the whole penetrating rubber bands thing you guys just saw me do, with them palmed in the curled fingers of my left hand. 
So you do once or twice or three times, however many you want. And then to finish, you take them both, you show them, ball them up, still have them gone in my pocket. And in my pocket, I have a lighter or maybe a magic marker, let's say. You know, and it gives you an excuse to do that whole wide's a magic marker. I ball these up, they can see them opening, and then I just do a false transfer, okay? Where I take them and apparently put them in that hand. And all I'm, you can either hold them in finger palm and apparently put them in. This is definitely more advanced sleight of hand. Or ball them up and do a false transfer like you would with a coin. Go to my pocket for the magic marker, okay? So I'll use a magic marker here. Tap here, show your hands empty. You know, or you could even ball them up, do a transfer, and put them in somebody else's hands, right? I mean, you can handle these. Nobody thinks for a second, hey, I think they're actually linked now, okay? Have that in somebody else's hands. You could toss them in a glass, a shot glass maybe, and heat it up with a lighter, whatever you want. But when you open these up, and after those first two illusion phases, they now get to see they're linked. It's just, again, it's just the kind of organic, down-to-earth magic that I love to perform for people. And it take, these cost nothing, so what a great souvenir to, to leave for people so they can really, in a sense, take the magic home with them.